YouTube. Uh, today I'm going to show you a tutorial on how to uh, repair a water damage phone. Uh, first of all, I'm, you need to purchase uh, this is 10 in 1 uh, tools. It comes with the torque, Phillips, and a flathead screw, and two uh, plying uh, plastic tools and uh, one suction cup and this is a uh, sim removable tool and uh, two uh, guitar uh, picks and they come with the extra sticker so in case you're uh, you need to glue a bag or something for your display you can use this uh, 3m uh, double-sided tape so this is a uh, water damage, uh, water damage uh, iPhone six. It has a uh, two point five uh, D. The protective uh, screen protector, and it's cracked already. As you can see in the. Let me see what you see right there. So I'm gonna use a small torque screw to open the two torque screw on the bottom right here. Let me show you the torque screw. So after you remove those two screws, you use a suction cup uh, right next to the home button, as close as you can, like that, and you press it down, and just give it a little pull, and then the bottom will pop up a gap, like that, and you use a thin uh, guitar pick to pry open all around it you stop on the bottom after you get a gap just go around it and then until you hear pop then you stop right there don't go all the way down and you do the same on the other side So after that, you can move the screen freely, but make sure you keep the top. Don't pull up on the top because there are ribbon cables. So you pull up slowly like this. And don't force it too hard. You see the, there are like ribbon cables right there. They are like uh, five screws that you need to open and this is the where the last speaker goes through and the other one is uh, connect to the battery cable so you need to remove those two screws you see uh, the water is still on the battery, it's still wet. So first thing to do is to remove this two screw and pop the battery open as uh, once you get your phone wet, so it doesn't damage the motherboard.
So I I I kind of sketched the schematic. So I know what is the layout look like when I or when I put it back. There are like uh, short screw. S stand for short short screw. And then right here, this one is the taller screw. And the rest of them are short, short. Because they are like a medium size, short, and then a tall size. So you gotta make sure you try to draw a schematic to show how the screw layout when so you know how to put it back later on. So as for the battery terminal, that uh, metal plate, the left side is a long screw, the right side is a medium screw. So I'm gonna follow that. So this one, those two screws, you need to uh, use a Phillips. So after you take it out, you take out that plate. Then you can use a plastic uh, prying tool to, re to re remove the cable connection. So this is the cable for the loudspeaker and this is the battery terminal cable right here. So um, don't forget to remove the SIM card as well, the SIM card tray with your SIM card in it. This is the tool, or you can use a regular uh, pin to remove it. So if you don't re remove your SIM card tray, you will not be able to remove your motherboard. So next, th next thing to do is to remove this cover right here with the five screw in order to remove the LCDs. Same thing, you gotta use a Philip uh, screw, screwdriver to open it. So the middle one is short. And all around the corner is short and, t and
odd all the five screw that I move just remove those are short then the sixth one on the corner right here that is the tall one so make sure you know about that make a note about that so when you put it back it's easier you see how long that screw is So you just remove the plate. See, it's all water damage. So now there are four cables. Then move it in order. There's one. Two. Try not try not to use a metal uh, flathead screw driver to pry out or see my short some uh, circuit. That's a third cable, and then uh, another one's right here. Whoa, look at that, it's all corroded. So these are the four cables that I just removed. As you can see, the plate is, is, has a water uh, corrosion as well on the back of the LCD and this is the motherboard that got corroded this customer uh, I guess jumped in the pool without knowing that his phone was in his pocket so I'll be trying to uh, recover this phone for him. Hopefully the damage is not as bad. He said he was uh, soaked in the pool for like two minutes. So hopefully we could uh, survive this phone. Make sure you purchase the uh, 91% uh, so for probably rubbing alcohol okay normally you're supposed to clean with the ultrasonic cleaner but uh, I don't have that right now so I'm gonna I uh, use for oil to make like a container so you, I could put the uh, alcohol in there and then soak it in there put the motherboard in there and soak it and shake it hopefully I can shake out the mineral out the main board and uh, uh, I will continue. This is just a part one. So I'll put the second video up soon. I will teach you how to remove the the main board, the motherboard. Okay? Then I'll see you on next video. Thank you for watching. Hopefully you subscribe for the upcoming video. Like, comment, and share it. Thank you and see you on the next video. Peace.